Hello everyone and welcome back to our glorious city of, well, Paris for now. It's our capital obviously in turn 284, still in the early modern era. And yeah, well, why I say still the capital, well, who knows how about that, right? This one here is turning into a real powerhouse, the Aachen, and it might just compete with Paris there overall. Why? Because it has some amazing territories right next to it that we've conquered in the process and that are just making the city um, already more powerful when it comes to science and stuff, right? We're also, well, working a bit on the money districts there, especially with those beautiful warehouses that we have um, here in the harbor district of Aachen. Down here in Paris, well, we're still trying to get above the 400 signs. Stability is fine again. So I would like to go ahead and build at least two more districts than in this area with some nice adjacency bonuses. There's also a harbor area here. So, well, you know where this one is going, right? For another VOC warehouse than for us. And actually with that VOC warehouse, Liesma down here becomes a bit more interesting. This territory that we have there that I haven't attached yet because it has an additional coastal site that we could use with a harbor and with another warehouse who knows about that might be something for the future also very important that we finish this supply line um, research here now because that gives us that additional city cap that we still don't have in Aachen I think we are already having quite a lot of people I'm going to further boost now the resource the science outpost for the city here um, and at the same time in Munich, we are also building now or finishing our comments quarters for that nice stability bonus. And that means that we can, well, spam a few more of these <laughs> market quarters. Boy, we have uh, quite a lot of them already in the area. But of course, that is not enough. Munich over here is, yeah, well, becoming a real big town there, a big city. Probably also spamming the whole area down here with more districts. Another territory over there we could then attach as well. I would rather wait on my influence there for some better civics that might be coming along. Or, and that is also pretty important, for outposts in the new world. So in the new world we have our Amsterdam city there where we're building some districts at the moment. There's also these mercenaries at the, well, at the border right now. And they're looking, they're looking a bit dangerous. I'm going to send my knights over there as well. Basically because I think they might be attempting a, well, an attack there on my cities there. How much would it actually cost me to train some troops here? Ah, uh, the latest ones that we have, the anti-calf units, mm, still takes 11 turns. That's just not acceptable. We will not be able to, to get any troops out there um, for quite some time. Anyway, we are still going to try it. I think we should still be fine. We do have also the city wall there. How very... Beautiful. Now in Rotterdam, unfortunately, we don't have the we don't have the, the harbor at the moment there. So this one here is another territory that I need to get. Now here I would really like to go ahead now and get my next outpost on the way. Probably building it here for that nice um, food and industry bonus that we get on everything. And yeah, it's probably the, the biggest one that we have there. Perfect. And that um. Those knights are being under attack right away. Oh my goodness, there is another bigger force. Let's retreat. No idea where this retreat is leaving us, right? Into a dead end there, is it looking? Huh, lots and lots of enemy forces now in the new world. It's a dangerous world. It's probably going to be too late to send any of my troops over there. Plus, I need those troops over here in my, in my mainland, right? Yeah, for some other conquest. We need to amass even more money than before because I want I even bigger listening. armies. Um, getting some iron is getting really difficult now because of all those prices there. Let's the same goes shot. basically with... Oh, the Aztecs do have some nice luxuries there now. We don't even have any... Hail, friend. We don't even I have anything with them going on right now. So I might be going for some better relationships there. The the Holtz, you know, you know them. We might be trying something else here, but yeah, we still need to try again. So diplomacy-wise, not that many I'm things listening. we could do. The Poles would like to sell us something and we're going for that of course that's some industry bonus and stability bonus overall that i'm actually totally happy with <laughs> and look at that what just happened right in the next turn the edo japanese now our allies they took bonus. this city there i have no idea how i didn't even see them anywhere um and they just took it out of the nowhere i guess it wasn't a fox we can see this whole city there right away it's totally fine because i think they're pretty weak overall um, and we might have a goal then later there. And we are protected from that side now. Very lucky indeed. Let's just merge our units there real quick. 
to that one here. Perfect. And let's get those five units then up here for my outpost so that we can secure the area. Um, pretty important. Rotterdam. Yeah, Rotterdam will also need some additional reinforcements here. Unfortunately, I really don't have that much. So the halberdiers might be might be our only option there. Uh, beside all those additional market quarters. I feel a bit naked there, to be honest. There's one of my ships along. Did we get something out of that? We got a pop over here. But that is... Yeah, a good attachment for Munich later on. Um, we just keep it like that for now. Ooh, it has lots of pops in it already. I think just for the pops alone, it might be worth it to attach it now. Hmm, but Munich itself doesn't have that much money. Or that much food, sorry. Hmm, might be a difficult one here. To decide what we want to go with. Another boosting, and with that we have the supply lines. Thank the gods we have the city cap once again back at a value that we can manage city or supply lines and let's just have a look we have some really interesting uh, tech now that we can finally go with um for our early modern era the movable typeface gives me the printing house so that's plus two signs for every research and we do have a lot of them then we have the, the chartered companies for another science boost and money boost so that's pretty good here and down here for our military we have the siege cannons basically with the mortar and i think i think i think i think yeah that's probably it Mm, the playhouse, the inventor workshop. We don't have any salt theater, so that's not going to work out for quite some time. And then we have another unit slot for each army. So let's go with the naval warfare. And then I'm probably going with our chartered companies here because that is just another nice um, income and also science boost. Now, rather than we have finished the next market quarter, it's rather quick. So I could continue over there. Um, why? Because here we do have the other territory then that I want to attach where we're going to have the harbor. So we can just build one and it's really quickly done so. And of course we should also still have some maker quarters. And as we can see there's lots of industry tiles over here with those uh, woodlands that we can use then as well. And basically just have some makers here and some market quarters over there to make Rotterdam a nice town in between. Those towns, I'm not aiming to make full science towns here, right? So those towns are production and money mostly. So pushing out units for the new world, pushing out money for our armies. Um, research, we have two powerful cities already and I don't think we need that many more. Native sun starvation is inflicting a terrible cost on the distant city of Amsterdam with the city, what? We have starvation. With the city recently founded and many of its inhabitants hailing from the homeland, the indigenous uh, tenuous plants of the area are not being harvested and eaten as they might otherwise be. Now, a delegation of the indigenous uh, population have demonstrated how to properly prepare and cook these crops. Should you decree that the city begin cultivation, the native flora cultivate them brings me one step closer to world and we get the bountiful and reject it and we do get the patriotic let's go with cultivation even though patriotic would give us a nice um army boost right so not something to really neglect that freely but still it's fine that th this army here we continue going uh, we're going to stay a bit in the center here with that army to um quickly help any kind of um attack that would be coming otherwise and for amsterdam there's totally enough food here so this event doesn't make so much sense to me it's fine it's fine um in amsterdam we have now the the warehouse yeah in one turn that we have it quarters. 500 somewhere coin income. in the afterlife croesus is having a fit of jealousy perfect that's that we can continue with those here and i probably will just have my next outpost then um here so where we have then that harbor right so i should have it here boy this is a really complicated territory though it's going from here all the way into this, in this, into this area here. So I'm probably going to have the outpost here somewhere. And then I'm probably going to have the, the harbor here, right? Because for the harbor, we don't need to have any adjacent districts. The question here is though, can I have a district adjacency to that one, but far away from the outpost? I have no idea right now. We can actually check this one over here in Nock, where we do have the same situation. We have an attached territory, right? Because there we can see the dotted line. Um, over there um, and as we can see there's also nothing here right so I could have a territory here or a district here because it's adjacent to the outpost I could also have it though already on the other side of the territory because it's adjacent to this district so I think it works I think we can do it like that I think we can 
make this the same one here. The outpost is actually down here in the mountains, while the district is going to be here because it's adjacent to that district then here at some point. So I think we can make this one work, and I'm just going to plan ahead with that in mind now. Let's go ahead and have this um, outpost then somewhere here now for all of that beautiful industry that we have basically down here in this area. And I think we're going with this one because there we just have all the mountains basically in our area. And I'd rather keep them together here at with five because who knows if where the um, other armies, right, that was lurking around there. Amsterdam got its own garrison there again for some stability bonuses. And boy, in the next turn, we're finishing a lot of projects. For example, Rotterdam is expanding with another coin district. And we can just have the next one then here for this um, harbor area. Then at some point, probably. And since we still have no stability problems for this, I might also just give us the next maker quarter then over there in this area for some other beautiful um, bonuses that we can get out of this one here for maximum amount of industry. Uh, I love my income right now. We might be going for some more trade then. So there's another die that we can purchase there to further boost our productivity. Welcome. And with the Eater Japanese, honestly, uh, there Roger. might still be... Yep, the gemstone here is still available to us. And I could propose the trade luxury. Uh, okay, they're going to hate us probably enough for the rest of the game because we were a bit too aggressive to them, most likely. And by the way, by the way, since we are having so much money now. I would really like to go ahead and train a few more troops, but we need Salt Peter. <laughs> it's, it's so incredible. I'm going to have some Halberdiers over there because it's it's a pretty strong unit still. Um, and it can also cross the the walls, right? So let's just train a few of them. They cost me 30 upkeep each. We can afford that. Um, on the other hand though, I might I might I might I might want to train some battery units that I can afford without any special strategic resource. Yeah, the Musketeers need the Salt Peter there as well. No chance, really. Right? And they're just incredibly strong. The Dragoons need it. This is really incredible. Basically, every next level um, army or military type costs me Salt Peter from now on. What could I do? I don't have it. The Greeks don't, or the old Greeks, they don't want to trade with us. There is no Salt Peter anywhere to be found in the whole world. <laughs> We're having a bit of a problem here, I think. We're having a bit of a problem. No one of them has Salt Peter except them. So there's still the option, of course, to find it here, but it's very unlikely. Let's continue with my troops. Uh, build a star because of all the districts. We're only three stars away from the next era. That's perfect. Very, very nice. This one here has gotten another pop. We could actually get a harbor here for that... Um, bonus and we have 5,000 influence Patching it is totally possible now. Ah, the bonuses are really bad though But Aachen needs Nah, that would just incre uh, lead to increased instability or instability and I don't want that the cool thing is we are still getting lots of resources there a hundred influence and 150 um, signs 100 signs actually and 150 influence there perfect from those chippies And I think the outpost is now coming along, is it? Down here. 25. Uh, 25 industry. Perfect. Let's get us a new outpost. And there we have a new territory now. Uh, as the Dutch. <laughs> Perfect. And also, rather than still growing nicely there, I might actually push one into food. Just to get us that additional growth coming out. Um, and then we might push out some units as well. Who knows about that? In Worms... In Worms, basically, we have the industry, have a bit of food. It's still a city that is kind of like in between here, right? So I would probably build a few more maker qu uh, market quarters um, for science. Uh, we do have some nice sciences here as well. Some ten adjacency there. Yes, let's make this whole area up there full with um, some research quarters. We have, by the way, ten pops in Worms. So training some troops here is uh, absolutely acceptable. Some osmosis event. I'll take it. We have another one. No, we don't. Meanwhile, I can finally attach my first territory there to Amsterdam. So let's go ahead and do this one. Of course, this leads to a bit increased as, uh, or instability, but it's still fine. And we do get nice uh, amount of industry there 
into this whole thing. Uh, the warehouse has also been built, so Amsterdam is turning out to be another beautiful financial powerhouse there that we can use them. I might just add another one here for that 21. Six pops we have in here. Um, the VOC warehouse actually would be profitable up there. I'm a bit surprised at that. Mm, might be fine. I would really like to train some troops out here too, though. So let's also get us the first halbit year on the way. Mesa still needs another turn. We could... <laughs> There's still something over there, right? That we could have a chance at Salt Peter. Um, for the next outpost, we probably... No, we don't even have to pay that much. Just see, this one is going over there, so we would need to take this territory there. There's some copper at least, that's something. Um, and then we could have a look at that for another city. Might be possible still. Oh, I'm training some settlers for this. There we have a settler. Hmm. I need that. We need Salt Peter. It's incredible. Incredibly important. You might also say I would uh, should just conquer where we have the Salt Peter um, in this territory. Unfortunately, it's right over there. So quite at the end of their empire. Um, quite on the other side of the world, more or less. I can only hope that these guys here are conquering them at some point. Because they look pretty powerful here now too. As another force. There is... Oof, there is unfortunately no other thing here to do for my for improving my relationship with them, right? It's just not going to happen. At least something here naval artillery, so my units or my armies can now have one more unit in them. And the charter companies is coming up now with the beautiful bank plus 10% money. That is just really good. We do need two more copper though. One we get over here and one we're going to trade them most likely. Um, and then we have the stock exchange for another additional money per trader and plus one sign. So this is really good there as well. I love that. Giving us some nice bonuses, please. Salt Peter, Salt Peter, Salt Peter. Another obsidian, another obsidian. We don't need salt obsidian really. I mean, of course, it's nice to have, but it's not really something. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, for attachments to this city there, right, you can have up to three territories easily attached and then it gets really expensive. So I might just attach this one and then this one for the obsidian. And therefore, rather than we do have then copper and obsidian in one territory, which is just going to be very nice. Let's have another outpost then here and another outpost then here or those additional ones. This is really dirt land or desert or whatever. Munich gets another perfect, another market out there. Uh, let's just see if we have any good uh, trade. There we would have some stability increase, but it's looking fine there as is. So we might just go for another district, to be honest. Pushing for that money. Making Munich incredibly big, as it should be. Another turn. Another turn, another luck. We should probably, we should probably just conquer something. Oh, and they've reached the next era and have chosen Mexicans. Perhaps they're a bit happier now towards us. They're not. They're not. Nothing I can do there. The Assyrians, how strong are you? You still... Oh, you're modern, modern era. You are the Mongols now. Hmm. I've got nothing really useful to trade. Copper is something that I could get. Who is that anyway here? The Morians. Medieval era, they are getting Whoever swallowed are. now soon. I guess we should be the ones that swallow them. Do they have any important alliance? They don't. So we could easily do this one and swallow this, getting us another city. Once I have another city cap, that is. Um, the Empire scientists have done themselves proud. Scurvy, it turns out, is due to a lack of some vital edification found in several fruits and vegetables, notably citrus fruits. Uh, this is pretty interesting because I heard, or I just watched the doc. doc a documentary with that um, the same exact thing that Citrus had the the vitamins that ne are needed for the vitamin shortage that people especially on board of ships have uh, that's pretty cool we do get plus two combat strength for all my units for 20 turns unfortunately I'm not in any kind of war nor am I intending to go to any war um, that soon I'm rather in the business of getting us some outposts out there so there's two this is pretty interesting why we have so much food out there in the desert. It's totally fine though. I mean, this is dry grassland. We're getting some nice tile bonuses out there. Perfect. So I can... Yeah, 
I have two more territories now. We could, by the way, then already, once this is established now, could already get these uh, resources there with the artisan quarter. And we could have it in our empire right away with just a bit of influence, really. All right, you guys. You guys are going down. I can't have them here. I'm... What? How? I still don't really understand this whole tile mechanic. Um, let's just go with that. And here. And start the fight. And why are they playing? We attacked. We were the ones to attack. So we should have this go. Alrighty. I mean, we're still going to win this one, obviously, but... It would have gone a bit more smoother, in my opinion. Should have gone a bit more smoother there. Very good. They're playing and they're down, so we destroyed a few units there. Also bringing us a bit closer then to the militarist um, star that we still need. Oh, there is something beautiful over there. If we're the first ones to discover this one completely, we get a nice bonus out of that. Worms has some units, uh, has some pops. I might just push some units here. And based on a true story, your achievements are many and your lands beautiful. Since times of antiquity, your people have marveled at a place of great natural grandeur, Dutch, within your lands. But few have heard the true and thrilling story behind its discovery until now. A popular playwright in Dutch has adapted the event in Dutch. A state a saga of exploration and high adventure, replete with dramatic embellishments. Uh, perhaps you should grace this theater with your own presence and see for yourself. Attend or pass it. We do get some science out of this one here, and it pushes us towards the progress. You have reached the end of an ideology axis. Of all the and thank you. I could very well live field. without that message Wishy every time we well are at the end of it, because we are at the end of it. I know that. Uh, we do have the money. <laughs> we have a lot of money, and I would like to go for some uh, trade gemstone to boost it further, and also some papyrus there. Oh, that's just that's just mean. This price. And you are here because. The world. Uh, right. It's worth a try from time to time, I guess. And the gemstone. Yes. This price is good. This price is really good. I am listening. Some iron here, some incense, some papyrus uh, for the science. On nine. And what do you have? The iron, then we might need as well. Pretty close to 1,000 coins per turn now. Oh, we have discovered Mount Vesuvius over there and getting us some 30 science points. On this island, I wonder what kind of advantages this one gives us. Usually it should be further land. I don't see that so much here. Hmm. And in the new world, this one, can we... I wonder if we can attach this one now. We can't. This one we can attach now, finally, to Rotterdam. To further boost our city here. With the next Mika Quarter. And probably then the next one right next to it. And then also... Yes, very good. We can get over there with the Market Quarter. Um, and then... Very good. The Harbor. 39 food and 7 coin. And right next to it then the VOC Warehouse for another huge bonus on that. I love that. Rotterdam is going to be great, 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 great. Some units are being trained in Amsterdam. Unfortunately, this one does not give us another additional bonus. If it's under our control, though, we get some stability, influence, and money. So I might just go ahead and... The territory is not valid. One of this action. Why not? Oh, it belongs to us already. <laughs> How very good. Didn't notice that. Some horses. No soul Peter. Let's get into this fog area there and hope that we can still find something. Oh, History. and we've also found a pretty big town over there. Look at that. With lots of troops. We might be giving them something. Hmm. We do have a vision on the target, do we not? No doubt this independent people possess yes. sophisticated Now we could customs, influence rights, them here a bit. And, and let's beliefs. do this one with some influence I and with some money. To, treat them well. to make them happy. This territory is pardon my French, but it's crap. Once again, there's nothing really useful here, nothing that we can need. Let's get back to Rotterdam and then we might explore the coast down here. Those are done, so we could attach this one now and this one here. 
to Rotterdam matter as well. Perfect. So it has now three territories all the way into the outland. Um, we already have a pretty big queue here, but I still would like to go ahead and now get us the, the artisan quarters here for the obsidian. Two of them. That's a nice one. And there might be... This is not so bad. 13 food out of this harbor. Might be something for later then. And Paris, with its 18 pops, we might be pushing some more units. Other than that, we're golden, even though this whole Soul Peter thing is a bit messy for me. Stay tuned.